Welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome so today we are getting some filthy cleaning done the boys are out of town they went back to Wisconsin um, Bobby had a get-together with some friends and the boys just wanted to see grandma and granddad again so this week it was just Freya and I at home and my like priority one was I really really wanted to get into the boys room and deep clean it I go in there on a regular basis and do like a deeper clean than what they would do, but I actually like wanted to go in and really, really get it clean. I knew this was my perfect chance to completely strip the beds, move furniture, literally get everything done because they're not home. So it makes it so much easier to do it and not worry about them wanting to play their games or anything like that. Um, so I'm just starting in the bedroom. I will have some just regular cleaning going on in today's video because this is an everyday thing. Also expect to see Freya a lot in my upcoming videos because girl has been driving me up the wall. <laughs> uh, with the bro her brothers being gone, you can imagine a almost three year old who's used to running amok with her brothers has all the energy in the world. So we have been attached at the hip and she is definitely giving mama a workout this week. So it definitely seemed like you guys really, really enjoyed the past two videos where I did tips and stuff. So I am curious what other type tip videos you guys would like to see. Um, I'm trying to think of them. I know you guys really like them, but sometimes like I just can't think of what you guys want. So if you guys could let me know in the comments below, do you want more decluttering tips, more tips on keeping your house clean, some deep t cleaning tricks? let me know. Just leave them in the comments. It's a huge help to me because unless you guys tell me, I don't know exactly what you want to see. So let me know. Um, as you can see, I am moving into the kitchen. This garlic was being a pain in my butt to get into the other little jar. So it was taking me a little bit, but I wanted to make sure like the basic stuff was done before moving into the boys bedroom because I knew that was going to be the majority of my day was going to be in their room and I knew it was going to be the most tiring part of the cleaning. So making sure that these smaller projects were done first was really important to me because once I get started on a project, I'm not going to stop. So even if I get tired doing the room, I'm going to finish it. Uh, but if I get tired doing the room, there's nothing saying that I'm going to finish the other projects in the house that need to get done. And as you know, as a busy mom, like there is a million and one things to get done in a day. So I'm just trying to work in a way that I knew I could be the most productive. I really enjoy when I share different channels. So I've been trying to share some smaller channels that I feel like don't get enough attention. So this is Natalie. Um, she's actually a mom to two boys and she's got some awesome content. I would definitely go and check her out. She always is super motivating. And like I said, I always love to share maybe channels that you just don't know of or haven't heard of yet. So it's so crazy. Actually, today, while you guys are watching this, we are actually at Meet the Teacher for the boy. So if you don't see me responding to comments right away, that is why all morning we will be at school meeting the different teachers and things like that. Um, but it's crazy to me to think that Monday, 
Monday, the boys are back in school. That is insane. Summer just flew by. So I am just trying to make sure everything is ready to go. That way, when Meet the Teacher comes up, we are just ready because I'm, I don't know. It always seems like so much, and I know it's not, but when it all has to be done in such a short amount of time, I always get a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, when do your kids start school? I know back in Wisconsin, it's usually not at till after Labor Day. Uh, down here, though, it starts a little bit sooner, and I'm pretty sure there's other places that it's already started. I would love to know when your kids start. Um, oh, and I guess different countries have a completely different schedule. I always find that really interesting to see those different schedules. If you're curious about what I put in my sink, I don't know if I showed it too, too well, um, but I just did baking soda and vinegar. It helps to clean, but more than clean, it helps with odor. And when it comes to your kitchen, your sink is probably the main thing in there that will make it stink. So I am just using that baking soda and vinegar, like I said, do a simple clean on it, um, but really just to get it really deodorized. One thing I can't stand is like when I go to wash dishes and the sink stinks. It like completely makes it like, oh, I'm cleaning dishes in something that smells dirty. I just can't handle that. So I do try and keep up with my sink if it's adding some essential oils or every once in a while doing some baking soda and vinegar, all of those different things to just really, really help out in um, keeping that odor down. Also, I've gotten a lot of questions about my carnivore diet I'm doing with Bobby. If you follow our family vlog channel, Cambria and Bobby, um, you've seen the updates and stuff, but we are still going strong. Um, Bobby had a small cheat while he was in Wisconsin when he went to his buddy's party, uh, but he was regretting that. <laughs> He was very, very much regretting that and got right back on diet right after that day. Um, but yeah, no, it's been nice. I'll be honest, I wish I was losing weight faster, but I feel like when you're focusing on the number, it can be very discouraging. So I have actually stopped weighing myself because I was getting discouraged that it was going slower than I would like. Um and I'm trying to focus on the idea that I feel amazing. Like my energy is through the roof. Um, I'm not getting as many breakouts, which any time around my cycle, I get really bad breakouts. And there's so many other benefits. And even like watching these videos, I feel like I look smaller. So even if I'm not number on the scale wise losing, I am, I believe, losing in other ways. So yeah, it's still going good. We'll still have updates on our family vlog channel, though. Um, I know a lot of people have been interested, so we'll try and do weekly or monthly or I don't know. Currently, we've been doing this for a month. Our goal is 90 days, and after that 90 days, we'll just kind of assess and see where we go from there. Also, when it comes to Bobby's gut, he hasn't had a single flare-up, and that, I think, is probably the biggest win of all because he was getting such bad flare-ups, um, and it was daily, so the idea that it's been a month with none, game-changer. So if nothing changed and it was just that, I would honestly be thrilled.
on to the boys' bedroom. Um, so it is a little messy, and honestly, I told the boys not even to worry about it before they left because I knew I wanted to do a really good cleaning on it, and I didn't want them to even worry about it. So if you're wondering why it's a bit messy in here and they left is because I told them not to touch it. So I'm just starting with stripping the beds. I am taking the mattress protectors off. I am taking absolutely everything off to give it a really, really good cleaning. Um, anything that was white, I wanted to bleach and just everything. One thing I like about these mattresses that we got them is they zip off. So we're dealing with kids. So there's often staining on their mattresses. If it's either Xander, it's usually spilling soda in his bed because he'll fall asleep holding a soda can, uh, which I know is not good. I tell him all the time. Um, but you also deal with they've been sick in their bed before, things like that. So all of these things contributing to different staining. I wanted to, like I said, strip the beds, bleach them, and get them looking really, really clean again. I am trying to get everything off the floor, though, because I was stepping on crumbs nonstop. <laughs> so my first goal was to get as much off the floor as possible, and then I ran the robot vacuum before I did anything else because I needed to get some of the junk off the floor. I was doing that, like, mom shuffle where you're walking and then wiping your feet on the bottom of your leggings. I don't know how they get so many crumbs everywhere. Like Freya, I get, she flat out just spills her cereal. Uh, but the boys, I'm like, guys, you're going to be 11 and eight this year. <laughs> when does the messiness go away? I was actually surprised. I thought I would find way more of my dishes in their room, which just makes me wonder where some of my dishes have disappeared to. Um, but not too bad. There weren't so many dishes in here this time. I think dart arrows are, or dart gun bullets, whatever you want to call those, are the, I don't want to say older kids because they're not that old, but like the bigger kids version of Legos. <laughs> I am always finding them absolutely everywhere in their room, outside in the backyard, under the couches, all over the place. So that was me just picking up some more of those dart gun um, bullets. It. It's hard because we always have so many because you know how those are. They are flimsy. They break. They get lost super easy. So we have a ton of them. Um, but yeah, they end up absolutely everywhere. All right. So this was actually after the robot vacuum had already come in. I did not film that. So it kind of looks like I just went from doing all that to this. There was an in-between break that allowed me to play with Freya for a little bit. Um and now I came back in and I am moving furniture. Big thing is getting around these baseboards. These baseboards are so dirty and I have not moved this furniture in over a year. Uh, the boys room was like the first room that we did a makeover on. And since we've done that makeover, I have not been able to get in here and actually move furniture and clean behind them. So this is where you're going to see a lot of gross, a lot of gunk, a lot of just gross. <laughs> it was literally filthy. I need to do this more often, but I'm sure you guys understand when it comes to your kids, especially older kids, getting time to get in there and deep clean their room and their baseboards can be more difficult. They're playing their games, reading their books, playing with their toys. They're just always in their room. No more. 
Also, when it comes to cleaning these baseboards, I'm just using a melamine sponge. I'm going to start calling these melamine sponges instead of magic erasers because I do not buy magic erasers anymore. Um, they are very pricey and all they are is a melamine sponge. So I'm going to start calling these melamine sponges every time I use them until everyone knows that you guys can go on Amazon and buy these so much cheaper off of Amazon. Just don't type in magic eraser. Using the brand name makes it like outrageously priced. I got a huge thing of these sponges for like $20 for like 50 of these sponges um, on Amazon and you guys know magic erasers can be so expensive but they work so well so if you guys love magic erasers but don't love the price go to Amazon check out melamine sponges and you'll be like in heaven when you realize how cheap you can actually get them Okay, so I always get asked about this blue cloth when I'm cleaning my glass. So this is just a glass cleaning cloth. Um, I have a couple of them from a couple different makers. I don't think you need anything fancy, but when you just look up glass cleaning cloth, it's a different material. So I will always use one cloth with my cleaning product. Um, and then I go in with the glass cleaning cloth to polish it and get rid of any of the streaks. This works so well, especially when you deal with like sliding glass doors. Our sliding glass doors get filthy between um, little hands and dog prints and anything from the outside to just use a cleaning cloth to clean them you end up smearing so much dirt and everything so i really like going in with the double cloth method where i'll use my one cloth to clean it really well and then the glass cleaning cloth to really go in and make sure there's no streaks and it's looking really really good um i did go in with the magic eraser a little bit on that window and it's because when before we got these windows put in, one of the sprinklers hit that window. Um, so we ended up having to adjust our sprinkler system and get it so it wouldn't hit that window anymore. And our sprinklers go off of our well water and it's just, it's hard water. So I was trying to get any of those leftover watermarks off that window. And now just going in and doing the floors. I'm doing each area in sections. That way I could make sure the baseboards were really good, the floors were really good, and then I'm going to end up moving the furniture back and moving on to the next section. This also makes it easier because if I need to go help Freya with something, if she just needed some time to play because that was a thing, I was able to just stop and know at least that section's done and move on to the next one when I came back. No, I'm not the same. Everything has changed. Every day, 24 7, you call my name. And I will come running. Yeah, every day, 24 7, yeah, every day. So it's funny. I sometimes get comments about people asking why the boys share room, especially since we do have that third bedroom. Um, and it's purely because they want to. I was actually having a conversation the other day with Xander, and some of you guys know, I think I've brought it up over here, but I definitely have brought it up on our family vlog channel, that Bobby and I really want to buy land. I want to be able to um, do more homesteading type stuff. Right now we got the quail and the ducks, which um, is good. We're trying, <laughs> keyword, trying to garden. We're still learning. We're not that good at it. Um but we really want to buy land and we really want to buy land with my parents and we've looked at different properties, not that we're looking right now, uh, but just to give us an idea of area and prices and just doing that 
preliminary look around of things. Uh, it probably won't be for a couple of years, but whenever I think of something, we like to research it as much as possible. Um, but we were saying if we bought just land without a property on it, um, how we would build. And I was asking Xander, I'm like, would you want us to build a house big enough where you and your brother could have your own room? Um, cause I was saying how we could build a five bedroom house that way each kid gets their own room. We're still trying to have another baby. We haven't had any success with getting pregnant again. Um, but we're still hoping that's in our future. And it was funny. He real quickly answered no. Like, no. <laughs> so Bobby and I are still talking about building a house big enough so that when the boys want their own room, they can have it. Um, but we still don't know. We don't know if we want to buy land and build on it, if we want to buy land that maybe has an older house that we can redo because we loved making over this house so much. There's just so much to think about, which I think that is why we always look and do our research so much in the future because we like to be prepared when we are at a point where we're ready. Um, we're still trying to talk my dad into this idea of us all moving onto the same property. Um, it might take a little bit more convincing. <laughs> but I told him, like, you guys are getting older. Not that they're old. Mom and dad, if you're listening to this, I'm not saying you're old. But they're getting older. So it'd be nice if we all lived on the same property. Um, they could have their own house, obviously not live in our house. Um, and as they get older, we, they don't need to worry about going to a nursing home or anything like that because we'll be right there, right there to take care of them, them to help us just, I don't know, creating a stronger family bond. That's one thing that I think in society has kind of diminished over the years is that really, really strong family bond. Um, and I just feel like it would be good. It would be good for us. It would be good for my parents. It'd be really good for the kids. Um, I would even love enough land that as the kids get older, they could build a house or get a trailer or whatever they want and have that independence, but still have the stability of being around mom and dad. I know a lot of kids like to stay at home longer with their parents, which is smart financially. Um, so if I could give them that independence while at the same time being able to help them get to their goals and not stress out about apartments or house shopping or anything like that, I am all for it. I'm starting to get used to it. I think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left. It was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer. Our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you. I'm so alone. I met you in the Also, I talked about Freya being my little shadow. If you look in the background, you can see Drake. Oh, now he's gone. Drake was in the hallway just watching, trying to see what I was doing. Uh, we do not allow the dogs as much as possible into the kids' bedrooms. Obviously, they sneak in there sometimes. Um, so normally, they'll just stare at me from the hallway, knowing that I'm going to yell at them if they go in the kids' room. Mainly Drake. Drake's getting older. Like, he's going to be 14 this year. Um... He is having some issues when it comes to controlling his bladder. He's not like having full on accidents in the house, but he like dribbles sometimes. Um, so we've been even more on him about not going into the kids rooms because I just I don't want that mess in there. And we already try and keep him more contained. Um so that he's not making messes. It's so hard because once they get to a certain age, it's like you never know. You're always like watching them to see because Huskies like normally live to be about 14. So we're just watching him, making sure he's still healthy and happy and not in pain. Um, and currently he is. Currently the only thing we're dealing with mainly is 
him having a harder time holding his bladder. So it's just making sure that he goes out more often and a lot more cleanups. <laughs> Real life here. Oh, cleaning up after kids, dogs, husbands, all the things. I met you in the summer. Oh, seeing this map reminds me. I actually had someone ask me the other day what scented pine saw I use. So I just use the original pine saw scent. Um, I love the original scent. Plus the scent of pine is a deterrent to bugs. And living here in Florida, you guys know if you're in Florida or you can imagine if you are not, we have a lot of bugs here. And one thing everyone told me when we moved down here is like, you're going to have bugs, just you have to learn to deal with it, and it is not something I want to learn to deal with. Obviously, the typical every once in a while getting a fly in the house, that is one thing, but other bugs, no ma'am, no thank you. So I try and use cleaning products that I love, but also that will be a natural deterrent for any little critters. Bobby also sprays our house for bugs. Um, I think he does it quarterly to every six months, something like that. And so far, so good. No bugs in the house. Like I said, other than the occasional fly that gets in or lizard, we don't get a lot of lizards in our house, but we've gotten a couple. <laughs> so, but yeah, just the original pine salt scent. I can't remember who asked that question, but I knew I wanted to answer it. It felt so nice once their room was completely clean. One, it just always feels nice to have a room completely clean. But also, oh, also here I'm just spraying some lemon verbena um, air freshener fabric spray all over. But it feels so nice to have their room clean because it got to stay clean for an entire week. Like, <laughs> That is amazing to have one part of your house that actually stays clean. I've had to do like little cleanups in there. Um, I actually forgot to clean the fan on this day. So I had to go back and do that. And Freya every once in a while would go in there um, and play a little bit. But for the most part, it was pretty good. Now, obviously, this is much later in the day. I don't normally do a ton of cleaning at night, but it's not because I don't enjoy cleaning it at night. It's actually usually because... At night is when we do a lot of family time. Bobby and I get to have one-on-one -on -one time. If it's hanging out in the hot tub or watching one of our favorite shows. But since it was just Freya and I, it was one of those things of, I would rather wake up to a clean house. And there was nothing more important to handle. Normally to me, having that time with family is way more important than worrying about waking up to a clean house because I wake up before anyone, so I know I can get the house clean before anyone wakes up anyway. But in this situation, there was no one else home, so I was able to go around and get everything tidied up before I went to bed. Oh, I also keep getting a lot of questions about this hand vac. I don't know why I put it in my Amazon store, but so many people said they can't find it in my Amazon store. 
Um, I'm going to try to add it again. If you don't see it, feel free to leave me a comment and I will send you the link. Um, I don't know why it's being weird. Like I said, I have added it like twice. I see it on my side, but um, I've had a lot of people saying they don't see it. So if that is you, I apologize. I know I've gotten like so many questions about that little vacuum because it comes in so, so handy all the way all over the house. All right, so if you guys have not started a cleaning project yet, but you are still watching this video, one, thank you for still being here. I really appreciate everyone that like stays till the end. It is such a huge help for me. Um, I know a lot of times you guys don't understand the idea of analytics and things, but um, when it comes to analytics, it really does help me get out. So whenever you guys watch till the end, commenting and sharing, those are huge, huge helps. But if you're still here and you guys have a project to get done, let me know what it is in the comments. Write down what you want to get done today. And then I want you to come back later and let me know when you have it done. I want to use this as a little bit of accountability. I feel like sometimes when you have that accountability, it will give you so much more motivation to get it done. Also, go and read those comments. Give every, like, Let's be, and we, I have a great community here. I know that. And so many of you guys are amazing, but I want you to go through the comments and comment under everyone that leaves what they need to get done today and just give them encouragement. If it's kind words or anything, anything you want to leave to encourage them to tackle their projects. And when you guys come back and say that you finished, I want us to go and congratulate them and all the things. Sometimes just having that community to motivate and encourage you is all you need. So I want us to be that community today. And I know of everyone that's still here watching, you are that community. You are the people that are going to be able to hold each other accountable, give each other the encouragement you need. So let's be a family and help each other out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.